everybody. This is Nikhil from ThinkDigit. Today I have with me the LG Optimus G Pro Lite, which is a 5.5 inch smartphone that's powered by a dual core MediaTek processor. Uh, now this is a less, a less expensive version of the original LG G Pro that was launched earlier this year. Uh, now this phone uh, falls into the mid-range segment. It costs about 18,000 to 19,000 depending on where you buy it from. So let's just take a look at this phone. So obviously the first thing that you'll notice is the large 5.5-inch uh, display. This is an IPS panel, although it is uh, a bit low res at uh, 916 to 540 pixels. If you remember, that is exactly the pixel resolution of the iPhone 4S that has a screen size of merely 3.5-inch. So for a 5.5-inch display, the 916 to 540 resolution does feel a little low. Uh, overall though the display is good for especially for the uh, price uh, at which the device is available uh, it is it is bright it is quite vibrant although if you pay real close attention to the display you'll be able to discern individual pixels but uh, for a lot of you that will not be a problem now uh, moving into how the phone actually works uh, the phone uses LG's own breeze UI which is uh, similar to Samsung's touch with in the sense that uh, it is completely overlaid uh, it is completely overlaid over the entire default uh, Android UI uh, it does give a bunch of extra options for example if you pull down the notifications panel you have a whole set of uh, shortcuts that you can just uh, quickly access out here you have something called a quick memo which can be used with uh, the stylus which let me just pull it out from here Right, so the phone comes with a stylus, so if you want to, uh, you know, uh, create a couple of handwritten notes, you can just press this button on the side, which immediately launches the quick memo over whatever screen is open. Out there, you can just uh, start uh, writing stuff and taking notes. Right. Uh, another cool feature which this phone uh, has, which is again very similar to what uh, Samsung's TouchWiz does, is uh, it's... Q, uh, Q slide option which basically lets you uh, create uh, different windows around uh, on the same screen so you can work on multiple things at once. So these these are applicable to only a couple of apps for example the calculator app. So if you look at this I can just uh, move the calculator anywhere I want. I can change the transparency so I can at least view what's behind it. So uh, you can do this with multiple apps, it lets you uh, see a couple of things in the background and also have another app running at the same time. So this is a great option. Uh, the phone also has an IR blaster with which you can uh, program multiple devices across your house uh, so that you can use your phone uh, as a universal remote for those uh, devices. Now uh, apart from what the, what the software does, the phone also has an 8MP camera. It's not a particularly good camera, uh, but something you would probably rely on if you uh, just plan to upload your photos on social networks. It's uh, not very good uh, under low light. It's reasonably okay under daylight, so if you're shooting outside, uh, it will work fine for, for your social net uh, networking needs. I would not really suggest using this uh, phone to shoot any low light photos. Though. 